the final guy we're going to look at, and um, this is Noah Brown. They say his market's about the $6 million range right around in that spot. What do you see with uh, Noah Brown? I'm really, really biased on Noah Brown, so I got to break him down when the, uh, a couple of times this year uh, during my breakdowns um, uh, of specific teams. And against the Bengals here and against the Buccaneers when Nico Collins was out, Noah Brown had uh, some big games. Again, now, again, he fits the mold because he's big. So he's another guy well over 200 pounds, uh, tall, uh, long arms. Uh, he's a strider. He's more, obviously, he's more of an outside guy. But he can do some slot things as well. But more, he's more of a one receiver. And this is what he gives you. He gives you a big body guy who can get first downs, catch those option routes, catch those, you know, very similar to the kind of routes, maybe not the talent, but the kind of routes that Amari uh, Cooper runs. Uh, he's not a super breakaway guy, but he's got enough breakaway speed to play. And when you watch those games against the Bengals last year, we had a 170, and against the Buccaneers, we had well over 100. He's a guy that when Nico Collins was out and they relied on, he showed up big. And I think he's a guy that will come at a good price. And he, again, his ability to block in the run game, his ability to motion, um, I think would be very beneficial for the Browns. This is a guy I really, really like. This is the guy that I, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about. I really like him. Now that might be because I've watched him a bunch, but I think he matches what Kevin Stefanski and Dorsey want to do uh, in terms of getting at the ball inside on those seams, digs, et cetera.